Good Tuesday afternoon, everyone. It is a bright and sunny day, but there is a chill in the air that's been absent the last couple of days. And that'll be the case later this week too. But we gotta get through a couple of cooler than normal days. And today is one of them. With highs in the middle 40s, it's likely to be the coolest day of the work week despite all the sunshine. And the winds are adding to that chilly feel. Wind chills have been in the 30s. This evening will be cold. Our winds will be diminishing and the temperatures will be dropping quickly into the 30s and then late night lows falling likely into the mid and upper 20s tomorrow morning. Here's what we're looking at for the rest of the day. Storm system passing Offshore will continue to move out, high pressure building in, and that high is going to keep us dry and clear for the rest of the day today and when you wake up tomorrow morning. In fact, that high will be directly overhead tomorrow, which means sunny skies and lighter winds than today. And the temperatures will likely climb maybe a degree or two warmer than what we're seeing this afternoon. The real warm up comes at the end of the week. You can see those temperatures jumping up, heading into especially Friday and Saturday. So warm front lifts north of our area and notice those temperatures by Saturday afternoon into the 60s away from the coastline. Not only the south coast, but up the bay as well, likely see some cooler temperatures than areas away from the water this weekend. So I actually have us up in the middle 60s on Saturday afternoon. It'll be breezy and dry. And then we're watching the approach of a cold front that'll bring some cooler weather for early next week. It'll also bring with it some extra clouds and the chance for some showers. Now, Sunday's not a washout right now, but we do have to watch the timing of that front. Some of our computer models bring it through earlier in the day on Sunday. Others hold it off until late Sunday, Sunday night, even early Monday. So it depends on which computer model you're looking at. Right now, I'm leaning more towards the end of the day Sunday and Sunday night, which means we're able to squeeze in one more day in the 60s before things cool down. We'll keep you updated on it right here, WPRI.com.